Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the ZOM. I had a chance to preview the ZOM back at CES 2010. Hadn't really seen much of it until recently when they reached out to me to ask if I'd be interested in reviewing it, and of course I jumped on the chance. This is a really cool accessory for your Bluetooth-enabled wireless phone. It comes in two color variations, white and black. I have the black, and it sells for $79.99. There's also a special edition pink version that is $99.99. You can check the link in the video description for information about all the different colors. So basically this little device packs three main components into one small package. Number one and probably the most important is it's a wireless leash and basically what that means is it connects over Bluetooth to your phone and then when you separate the two it alarms you that you've forgotten your phone somewhere. Number two, it's a speakerphone. You can answer calls via the ZOM, hear it through the speaker that's built into it, and talk back into it. So when you're in your car, you're you know, hands-free, safe while driving. And number three, and maybe even more important than the other two is, it features the ability to automatically dial 911 when you press it and sound a panic alarm if you know you're being scared or attacked or followed and you want to try to scare the uh, person away so those are the three features it packs into again this little nifty pack let's first take a look at what's inside the packaging and then we'll get to all the features one by one so let's take a look at what is included inside the packaging. You're going to obviously get the unit itself, which we'll take a look at in one moment. You'll get a quick start instruction manual to tell you how to set it all up and all the different features. You'll get a micro USB cable that you can use to recharge the ZOM over your computer. You'll also need that to set it up and activate it. You'll get a keyring attachment that you can use to attach to the ZOM if you want to put this on your keychain or you know something else. And then you're going to get a regular wall charger that you can use to recharge the ZOM as well. So let's get all of that out of the way and I'm going to show you the actual unit itself. Let me remove it off the kind of packaging that it came on. There we go. It comes with a belt clip that you can use to attach to your belt or your visor in your car or on the side of your purse, anywhere. Or you can simply just choose to remove it. And again, if you want to use that key ring, you can slap it on right there. As far as the features go, it really only has one button. That's the button that's in the middle with the Z on it. And then the speaker on the back. And then the micro USB charging port, which is located on the side, and it features a cover there to protect it from the elements. When it's time to charge it, simply peel that back for access to the port. Turning it on is quite simple. You simply press the button and hold it until you hear a beep. And then it's on. And once it's connected to my Bluetooth phone, you'll see that it stops making any kind of noise and it will start a slow flash you know, every few seconds letting you know that it is connected. So it's now connected to my iPhone 4. If I bring that into frame, you can see the Bluetooth up in the upper right hand corner showing that it is connected to a device. It is now connected to the ZOM. So let's now take a look at the three different features the ZOM offers. So the first step in using the ZOM is to activate it. Now this is kind of an optional step. You can download software directly from the ZOM website, which allows you to customize the ZOM itself. You install software based on which operating system you have. There's both PC and Mac versions of the software. And once you have it installed, you simply plug the ZOM into your computer's available USB port. The computer then reads the ZOM, and you can then customize your ZOM based on your own personal preferences. You can, number one, set up which number you want it to dial in a case of an emergency, as well as change some of the settings, like the distance that you want to be alerted at when you're or ZOM is separated from the mobile device it's connected to. So once you've got all that configured, you're ready to start using the ZOM in a variety of different ways. So the first feature of the ZOM we're going to talk about is the wireless leash feature. Basically, these two devices are now paired, and when they become separated, the ZOM gets upset. It alerts you via flashing lights, a vibration, and a loud audio tone that you've left your phone somewhere. So if you're the type of person that can't keep track of your cell phone, this is a perfect device for you to have. Now you can set up in the settings how far you want the distance to be where the device will alert you that it's become separated from your phone. There's a short and a long. Basically it's anywhere from 20 to 40 feet. Right now I have it set on the shorter distance. So what I think I'll do now is leave my phone here on the table. I'm in my 
my basement and then we'll go for a little walk with the Zom so you can hear what happens when the two become separated. All right, so we're going mobile now. I've got the Zom here. I've left my cell phone on the table where I normally shoot my videos and let's take a walk. So, you know, if you were to leave your cell phone, you know, wherever in a restaurant or at home and you uh, want to be alerted, this does a great job of alerting you when you've gotten too far away from it. So I'm in my basement. I'm walking upstairs. It'll take a little bit of time before the Zom starts to recognize that I've gotten away, but you'll first hear it vibrate. Then you'll hear it beep, and then you'll hear it really alert me. So it started to vibrate. Now it's flashing. And now it's saying, whoops, you've left your cell phone somewhere. Now when I want to turn this off, simply press the Z. The sound stops. Still flashing, letting me know, hey, you uh, forgot your cell phone. And I'll go back downstairs. And once I'm back in range, it'll beep again, letting me know, you're back together with your phone. And there it goes. So now I'm back in range. There's my cell phone sitting on the table and it's now saying, I'm happy. I'm back with your phone. All is well. So I mentioned the Zom acts as a speaker phone. What I'm going to do now is using my home telephone number, call my cell phone. So you can see how the process of answering a call works on the Zom. Here comes the incoming call. You can see that the Zom is vibrating and flashing and ringing. If I want to answer the call with the speakerphone, I simply press the middle button and that connects to the Zom. So I'm now, I can hear myself talking through the Zom because I'm speaking into the phone right now. But now this acts as a speakerphone and mic that I can use to safely make calls while driving or doing any other tasks where I want to keep my hands free. When it comes time to end the call, simply press the middle button and that hangs up the call. Finally, let's talk about the emergency feature. Again, I mentioned this has the ability to alert 911 in a case of an emergency or to create a loud sounding panic alarm if you feel like you're being attacked or you're in some sort of trouble. Basically, to alert the authorities, you press and hold the middle button until the phone starts to dial 911. What it will do first is sound a loud panic alarm. That happens after about 15 seconds. If you continue to hold the button in the middle after the panic alarm sounds, it will automatically connect to your cell phone and dial 911. So I'm gonna press it now just so you can hear the panic alarm sound, you know, the sound that would scare away any attacker. I'm not going to continue to hold it because I obviously don't want to dial 911, but just know if I did, that's what would happen. So let's press and hold this. Let's say I'm being stalked and I'm getting scared and I want to scare someone away. I'm going to continue to hold this button down until it makes a very loud panic noise that you can hear right now. Now, if I were to continue to hold it, it would dial 911. Now I can simply turn off the sound by pressing the button again, and that deactivates the panic sound. So that feature, again, really great if you're someone that is concerned that you know uh, about your whereabouts and you want to have something handy that can quickly access 911 in case of an emergency. All right, so we had a chance to look at all of the features of the Zom. I think this is a pretty cool device. If you're, again, someone that is always losing your cell phone, this is something you're going to want to check out. If you're not a person that's always losing it and you want to feel secure and safe when you're you know, out and about, this is also something that can come in handy with the panic alarm feature and the ability to call emergency services. Coupled with the hands-free device, this is a convergence style device that I'm all into. I love when manufacturers take a lot of different you know, functions and tasks and combine them into one sleek and you know, sophisticated device. And that certainly describes the Zom. So again, the Zom is available right now, $79.99 in white or black, $99.99 in pink. Check the link in the video description where you can learn more about it. If you have any questions about it or anything else, you can always drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day. <laughs>